So welcome to uh, Lecture 3 in Java. You made it through the first two lectures. And so there's actually three, um, uh, in a sense, pillars that programming stands on. One is, one is actually methods, and the other is conditionals. And today we're going to be working with the final pillar, and that will be loops, and learning how to do loops. And you've learned how to do loops in PHP, so that I don't see any problem with this. For you, and uh, actually this is a fairly simple lecture, and as I said, after I finished it, uh, I decided to spend two more hours working on something to make it more difficult so you would sweat a little bit. I don't want you to think I'm too easy or anything like that. So here we go. We're going to come along here, and uh, of course, once again, we're working from the MIT lecture slides, but there's going to be a little bit of a change here, and let me tell you what that change is going to be. Uh, well, I think it's an old school. Uh, MIT is pretty much old school programming comes from Java, very mathematical, where I'm, uh, I, I'm also mathematical with my degrees, but I also look from the perspective of building a uh, user interface because I've been in the web design business for so long. So uh, I, I think I just have a different perspective than they do. And, and, and that, it's funny that you would ask that question. With That really leads into what I'm about to talk about. So we've actually looked at uh, variables and operators uh, and then types and conditionals, and we're looking at loops and arrays today, but we're actually going to substitute a, a lecture in here that's not in the MIT uh, uh, course. And that lecture is going to be on swing. And so uh, what swing is going to do, it's actually built on the old aught uh, Java uh, interface, and it's uh, the new MVC architecture for uh, Java. It's really not new. It's been around for a while. And it gives you all these wonderful 2D interfaces that you can build uh, your applications in. So you're going to immediately move from all this technical programming to building application interfaces next time. So I'm, I'm, I know you're probably pretty excited about that because you've been waiting for this. This is something that we couldn't do in PHP. PHP required a lot of programming to build an interface, uh, so much like building an HTML page up. Where um, so we went immediately did PHP back end and Flex front end because it was so easy to build an interface. Well, here in Java it's all there. You don't need to go to Flex. You're going to have an interface immediately using Swing, and so you're going to see that happen next time. So we will be substituting a new lecture in right here, and then we'll move on with the rest of the lecture. But we'll be we'll be implementing the Swing for the rest of this uh, lecture series, and then that'll enable us to stand on the next peg, which will be 3D. Uh, in Java once we get that 2D interface down in Java. So uh, that's where we're headed. So it's good that you asked that question. And they have a different, pers MIT has a different perspective on this because they're training engineers and scientists and just, you know, these people only think with their left brain sometimes and they're not creating with the right brain, which we need to do in the uh, web market to sell things. So, and I know you agree with that. So, so I'm going to liberate you from the MIT mentality in the next uh, <laughs> lecture series, and, y and you're going to start building interfaces, and that, that will be pretty exciting. That's when it gets to be fun. Now, now so that's, once again, the MIT. We're gonna, we've got lecture three. We're going to be going through that today. Once again, a very easy lecture, I think, and I've added to it to make it a little more difficult. Don't you like that? But Bucky has a whole series of videos I really want you to watch because I got code that I've written is not the same as his code, but it covers almost the same things. This is fairly standard stuff when you come to talking about Java. He's going to look at the while loop. Make sure you watch that video, then just a for loop. He's got some loop examples, what's called a do while. And what a do while does, it allows you to execute the, the loop at least once. A while loop will kick you out if the condition is not met right away. But sometimes you need to just execute it once and then move on. And that's what a do while does. He's got an array table he shows you how to make. does some summing and some counters. And that's fine. That's good stuff. And then uh, what we're going to do here is he talks about uh, basically using arrays as arguments. So you, you've already uh, seen bringing arguments into a method. And basically what he shows you in that video is how to bring arrays into a method. And then you want to operate on those arrays in the method. And we can talk about that as well. He talks about multidimensional arrays. And then he does a little multidimensional array table for you. So uh, oh, really, really good stuff. Okay, So make sure you head through those videos. And the reason I'm saying that is because this is a really easy chapter, and we're going to go through this fairly fast. So if I, I, if I miss anything, you know, make sure you watch those videos. It's all there, okay? Because we want to hit get this. I know you've had this stuff before in PHP. I'm going to point out the differences, and then we're going to move on, and then we're going to hit the interfaces next time, which, which I'm very excited about doing. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just talk a little bit about a few other references that I, I have here on the web. The great thing about Java is just you can just type a Java this or Java that on the web, and up comes a million tutorials. And so once you get the feel for how to write Java programs, you can pretty much figure out anything you want to do because it's all out there on the web. And so I'm kind of bringing some of that together for you. Here's a really, really good uh, video series at www.javabeginner.com. Okay. 
want to make sure you take care of it. Look, look at that. Uh, we are talking a little bit about ray, ray types today and declaring arrays. And I just have a little example in the notes how to declare array and the different ways to do that. Uh, and if you move down here in the note, lecture notes, um, I have an array tutorial. So just more tutorials, more resources you can look up on the web. And then I have a little Wikipedia article on what is swing. So you're moving into the swing uh, 2D architecture and you're learning how to uh, create these interfaces and they're very easy to do. We'll go through all of them next lecture. Okay, and so uh, I'm going to move on down here a little bit more. And I'm going to change the assignment for this week as well. Here's yet another swing tutorial. So you can see I really, you know, got bored. And I, I said, we're going to move on with this. We're going to get some good stuff going on here. You know, you're, you're not going to be just an engineer. You need to build that interface. So really what I have for the next assignment is not the MIT assignment. I, I, felt, I felt like the last one is boring and the next one is boring. So what I want to do is kind of bring you up, and this is your assignment, is to look at this website right here and see if you can figure out how the tic-tac-toe game works, all right? And then we're going to start off, you know, ex with the swing architecture, and at the end next time we'll explain that tic-tac-toe game and how it was run. So that gives you something to look at and play around with and think about, okay? Now, if you want to go ahead and do the MIT assignment, please do. It's also in the notes, so you can just skip to the next lecture, and you'll see the solution to that. But we're actually going to get more into the interface programming which you're going to do. Now we'll need all the other programming as well. All the MIT stuff is still good, but we're going to add all this on top of it because you want to not just do a technical or engineering program, you also want to do web programming. That's very nice of you. And you know, I have the advantage because I'm kind of looking down in a sense. I got Bucky stuff, you know, I've been through all that. I've got the MIT stuff, I've been through all that, and then I've got my stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, at, just, I'm able to just take the advantage of, those, of the great work both those guys have done. And Bucky does a great job on the videos, and so do the MIT lectures. They're pretty good. So let's go ahead and bring up the MIT lecture and start going through that. And when I, I'll stop every once in a while and go through code, and then I'll uh, say, hey, we've got to look at this and look at that. All right. So we'll go in between this and Eclipse. Cool. Do we have any questions before we get started? Okay, great. Wonderful. Great. Great, great.